Update My girlfriend has been sleeping with my roommate. Don't know how to post a link to my original post you can find it on my profile. First of all, thanks to everyone. While there were some rather unpleasant responses, like the guy who called me a pussy for being upset of the woman who messaged me to say that if I couldn't satisfy my girlfriend I should let better men do so because she deserved it. The overwhelming majority were kind and sympathetic. I couldn't respond to most because there were so many but I assure you, you are appreciated. I talked to my landlord who was sympathetic and offered me another apartment if I continued paying my lease. It's an informal arrangement where I'm still legally residing and paying for my old apartment but staying in another. As expected, my now former friends took my old roommate's side and I've cut them out of my life. I'm not doing the best I could be mentally. I'm all alone and dealing with personal insecurities, loneliness and heartbreak. Still, at least I'm out of my earlier situation. I've taken a week off work and arranged to see a therapist. All in all, my situation isn't great but it's unlikely to get worse and I'm working on improving it. Good for you for making the changes necessary to get yourself out of that situation and to remove the not good people from your life. This must be so hard but you're being stronger than you feel you are. Clearly do not listen to trolls trying to upset you. They wouldn't listen to their own advice if they were in your situation. So FCK them. Keep taking good care of yourself as you go through this pain. I know you're probably feeling a lot of sorrow and anger but don't let it destroy you. Eventually you'll look back on it and feel grateful that it happened. I went through a situation similar to that and couldn't be better today. Just face your problems head on and move past them. Consider yourself liberated from somebody who doesn't deserve you. Stay strong. Anyone who judged you for this sucks. I know it is hard to step out into something new. Change is scary, but you're already in a better situation by being out of the one you were in. Previous post. HTTPS. www.reddit.com slash r slash relationship advice slash comments slash i yarbecues slash my girlfriend has been sleeping with my roommate slash if they cheat with you, they'll cheat on you. So rest assured they will end up betraying each other as well. People like that always get caught up in their own BS. In the future, try to branch out more socially. I think you'll find you're not too awkward to make a lot of friends. That insecurity will melt away as you meet more people that enjoy your personality. Don't tie yourself to one friend too much. I'm sure your dick is big enough and you're an attentive lover. So don't beat yourself up over that nonsense. A lot of guys have unrealistic views on sex because of porn. There aren't a bunch of 10 inches dicks walking around. And guys don't naturally stay hard for 30 plus minutes. At least not while exerting themselves. Get out of your own head and relax. Use your mouth and hands if your buddy needs a break. Give me a DM and I'll send you a pizza. Pizza always helped me with heartbreak. Your ex is a hoe and your ex roommate is a hoe as well. You're not losing anything but moving on and the friends that took their side will probably end up going through the same thing. When that time comes just point. Laugh and say I told you so winking face. You may not realize this now. But that was incredibly courageous of you. For now, focus on yourself, things that you find fulfillment in. Skills, hobbies that you can spend time on etc. Just like you found a solution for the apartment situation, you will definitely find aspects that improve your self-worth, and consequently your appeal to others as well. Don't obsess over the past or those that betrayed you. Definitely not the internet trolls that bring you down. They are not worthy of your time. I'm very happy for you that you took the proper actions. It's tough now, but the payoff will come when you find true happiness. What was the response from your ex-GF and friend? 
No good relationship ends. So you are definitely in a better place now. Good luck with the healing. Go to the gym and do some fun after work, school activities to pass time and meet new people. All of a sudden a year has gone by. You got a six pack. You barely remember your ex's name and there's a new one sleeping next to you. You'll be fine. Heartbreak and drama is a part of life and every time it hits, you'll be stronger and wiser. Sorry friend, but I'm glad you moved on and ended things with your shit ex and friend. Do you mind sharing how you confronted them? How much of a scumbag do you have to be decide with the friend who stole another friend's girlfriend, even if they're close? That part just doesn't make sense. Do they not have a conscience or a sense of morality? Fuck those friends. You're better off without them. It happens to the best of us. Some fake friend puts a knife in your back. As for the relationship, in some instances you could actually be great in the sack. Good looking, charming, etc. But at some point their partner would still cheat BC they wanted to see if the grass was greener or they just love more than one sexual partner. Well the point in trying to make is don't let shitty people tear you down. It'll take some time but it'll pass. I'm happy for you man. You're handling it as best you can. You don't need those other friends, you can find even better people who will appreciate you and genuinely care for you. It's better to be alone and actually alone than it is to be alone because you're surrounded by people who hurt you. You are on the right track, taking some time to yourself and making arrangements for a therapist. I also recommend that you block your exes, GF and friends so that you don't have to see their garbage on SM. Your therapist can give you pointers on striking up new friendships, but only when you're ready. If you have a hobby or interest, now is the time to dive into it. Physical exercises can help with your mental exercises, too. You don't have to go all out at a gym, especially if you can't afford a gym membership. Not saying you can't just covering my bases, but taking a walk jogging, or something else that doesn't cost money can help you process. When I lost someone important to me, I made sure to get some workouts in here and there so I wouldn't drown in grief. And trust me, I am not in shape at all, but it helped. Also, learn to love yourself before you attempt to love anyone else. Don't dwell on your shortcomings, real or perceived, but focus on your strengths and figure out how to turn your weaknesses into strengths. And look, I don't care what kind of person you are, only shit people treat you like shit. You did not deserve that level of betrayal and then to have the friends turn on you like that. They are all trash. And now that you have pulled yourself out of that dumpster you will finally see it. Meanwhile, let them all rot together. It won't happen tomorrow and probably not even a year from now. But someday, they will definitely reap what they sow. And you'll thank God that you got out of there. Edited for grammar. If you play video games and ever want to play online just for some interaction, hit me up. Not as good as in person, but it's better than being alone. I went through a divorce this time last year, love of my life. Married three years. Decided to go to sleep with someone at a bar one night. I'm still broken hearted and don't know if I'll ever move on. But we can at least try to move forward. I read your first post. I'm sorry you're going through this. Try therapy if you can. Get into the gym just to take your mind off things. Pick up different hobbies you will meet new friends. It takes time but it gets better. Sorry, you had to go through this also your former friends are shit and I am glad you cut contact. You may feel alone now but that's alright it gives you time to think and to heal. For now just focus on yourself and your goals in life don't let this experience break you let it strengthen you smile. I'm sorry that happened to you but you did the right thing. You shouldn't be insecure about yourself. 
It's the girl that should be insecure about herself knowing he needs more than a man to satisfy her. She just feeding her ego. To stop her insecurity about thinking she's not loved enough. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.